Knock Shinnock Castle Colliery near Cumnock, Ayrshire, is the scene of the greatest rescue operation in Scottish mining history when Earth subsidence traps 128 men below ground. A long vigil faces those who wait. A vigil all too familiar to those whose menfolk win their livelihood in the bowels of the earth. The men went down to work here. Behind them, this land, undermined by floods, subsided into the tunnel. From the old bank colliery working, rescue crews planned to cut through 30 feet of coal to reach the men. Above ground, others are throwing material into the huge crater to stop further falls of mud and slush which might fill the working and drown the trapped men. Nearby, fire pumps pump out the swollen stream which caused the trouble. Anxiety grows when gas is reported. A giant air pump is brought into action, but rescue cannot wait. It must be a respirator rescue. So teams go down to show them how to use them and bring up three at a time. Thanks to the rescue crews, many homes are happy again. The little town lies quiet in the morning sun. Across the fields, the bells call to church. And in the mining villages, it is a day of rest. There is no coal to be won today. But at Nakshinak, there is no rest. Dumbly they wait as the fuel minister and others plan. Trapped below are 13 miners. There is only one way down, and they ask to take it. Heedless of the danger that threatens all round, willing hands prepare the way. To protect the hole from further slides, a roof is built. Beneath it, they will dig through the mud to the galleries below. There is hurry now, and men drive themselves to cheat time. Above, the manager watches their safety and directs their labors. There must be props to shore the sides of their downward digging, to hold back the mud and slush through which they work. Prayer in heart, the women watch, judging progress by the length of a ladder. The women of Nokshinak come out from church. They have given the care of their missing to their God and returned thanks for the 115 spare. After their ordeal, many of the rescued men needed rest and building up. Some were entombed more than 40 hours, threatened by mud and poison gas. It's not easy to imagine what they endured. To wait and hope in the dark, 700 feet below ground. To see safety beckon and then learn that poison bars the way. The rains come and the river rises. The sodden land floods and nature herself fights against the rescuers. Through the marshy surrounds, men cut drains to carry away the water. Far away and alone they work, with no sight to encourage them, to stop the water that threatens to wash in the walls of the crater. Man's giant machines bog down, powerful but powerless. Man alone keeps on. The shaft is through and the men down, but of the 13 there is no trace. At Pithead they call in another machine, but hope for the missing fades. And to their homes go those whose mission is to comfort. And in the little cottages where joy and sorrow mingle, they know the price of coal. They pay it with their hearts every day. <laughs> <laughs> 